Charleston Sons Family Wine and Company, how are you doing? Just wanted to tell you, your little box of joy is on the way and we're very excited to share these three wines with you. Um, maybe even as excited as I've ever been. Uh, these wines represent a long time and a lot of work and one of my friends thinks the best wines we've ever made. Uh, and I trust his judgment. So let me tell you about them. First wine that you're gonna have in your shipment is called Wolfhounden. If you ever Google Sarlos, and not Sarlos and Sons on the uh, on the internet, on the interwebs, you'll find that the Wolfhound comes up first. We actually have a dog breed named after our family. The dog was bred to be a police dog, vicious, scary, intimidating. Uh, but they found its disposition to be quite the opposite. It was loving, warm, cuddly, uh, family friendly, uh, everything a poli good police dog shouldn't be. And they named it the Starless Wolfhound after the father of the breed. This wine is 100% Petit Verdot. Petit Verdot is usually described as a blending wine. Uh, a blending wine means it's massive, it's huge, it's strong in flavor and character and taste. And unleashing that whole thing upon you uh, might be a little intimidating. But this Wolfhound has been picked in 2008. We bottled it in 2010 and we left it in bottle until now. This wine is one of my favorites we've ever had. It's big, it's succulent, it's massive, uh, but it's been bottle aged, it's been barrel aged, and it has a, a nice, soft, cuddly disposition. That is the Wolfhound. Our second wine is Dree. Dree is 33% Syrah, 33% Sangiovese, and 33% Grenache. A lot of people have heard of a GSM or a Grenache Syrah Mulved. A lot of the great wines and say uh, uh, Chateau Neuf de Pop are GSMs. This wine represents something special in our family, which is the number three. The number three represents a stool, a tripod, uh, the triangle. Uh, this wine represents the thought in our family that we can't do anything by ourselves. We always need three people. Uh, we had my grandfather, my dad, my uncle. Now we have my dad, my uncle, and me. We have my cousin, me, and my uncle. Uh, my brother, me, my dad. My cousin Greg, my cousin Brad, his dad. Uh, we do everything together as a family. And without each other, we're like a stool with two legs. We fall over. This wine represents that beautiful harmony of three different personalities, three different varietals uh, coming together to form something so much greater uh, than they are on their own. So that is Dream. Final wine. This is Lionheart. Lionheart is a port or a fortified Syrah. It was grown on our windmill ranch property and this wine represents six years of work. It was at barrel age for five, uh, bottle age for one, and this wine makes a believer out of people. Uh, this wine is a is a time capsule. This wine is what we were doing six years ago in a vineyard that we wanted to give a chance at immortality, if you will, uh, by fortifying it. This wine was basically born before my daughter was, which leads us to what we're doing here today, standing in the middle of a field. This wine gave thought to this. This is called a field note. You're gonna get one in each one of your wine club shipments. It might be red, might be yellow, might be blue. The color really doesn't matter. What we do with this is important. Let me tell you what we do with this. We keep our field notes in them. Uh, this is in my pocket pretty much nonstop. I fill it with phone numbers, thoughts. This idea was born in this little red book. impeccable notes in our vineyard. We know about certain vines, we know about certain sub areas, we know about watering patterns, when we mow, what we're doing with each vine, uh, when bud break was, how much water we put on, how many days over 100 degrees it's been. Uh, we know everything. This is our journal. 
instead of writing our emotions in it, we write what we're doing in the vineyard so that when we pick a grape and we find something we like, we look at why it's that. Uh, we looked at how many days it was over 100 degrees, how many days it was under 36. Uh, all of that goes in our field notes. Now, what we want you to do with these is fill them up. Fill them up with your thoughts, your dreams, your desires, why you chose Sarlos and Sons, what you like about our wines, what you don't like about our wines, uh, what you wish we would have done, what you would have done differently. Uh, put little doodles in these things. Uh, share your ideas. Be fearless with this book. Uh, we want you to take this little idea seriously because this idea of putting this field note was born in this field, in this book. Now, we want these back. We want to see the people who take it seriously and write where you're drinking our wines, who you're drinking them with, what was the occasions, uh, what you like, what you didn't, what you would do differently, if you ever had a dream to be a winemaker, uh, if, you, if, if, if you want your dreams to be a winemaker, what kind of wines do you want to make, uh, what you want to see from Sarlos and Sons what you want to see us do differently, what we're doing great. Uh, this is not a comment card, but this is an opportunity to see who wants to sit in this chair. We're going to take the people that fill this book up, the people that are sharing their passion for wine, for what we're doing, for building our family. Uh, we're not in the wine industry. We are a wine family. And we want you to be a part of it. That's what this book represents. We want to have you have a wine that was born before your daughter was. That you can hold in your hands and say, I made this. We're going to put your name on these bottles. We are going to sit down as a, as a wine family, as our group, to blend and put together the best wine in the world. Because it really doesn't matter what I think, it matters what you think. I want to have 80 of these, 100, 500, 1,000 of these books come back. I want to have so many people clamoring to tell me what they wish they wanted to do that we don't have enough chairs. That one day our whole winery becomes what you think. That's what this is. Our dream was to grow grapes. And that's what you see behind you. Wine was something that happened along the way. It gave us a chance to give our grapes immortality and share them with you. Share them with our wine club family. With, it's not a wine club. Let's be honest. It's, you guys came in. You tasted our wines. You wanted to be a part of what we we're doing. And, and I, I told other winemakers that I was going to do this. They looked at me cross-eyed. Because a lot of times wine is about the performance. And I don't think it is. I think wine's about who you're drinking with. It's about, it's not a performance, it's an experience. So, from Sarlis and Sons, these little red books, these yellow books, these blue books that you fill up and you get back to us, bring them in by hand, email them, uh, mail them, I'll put, I'll put our address on the website. But the more of these that people take seriously, the bigger this is gonna get. I don't know anybody's ever done this. And that's what I love about it. It's gonna be a great idea.